Hi, it's Halima from Blackboard English. If you're feeling unwell, it's a good idea to go to the doctors. But before you go to the doctors, you need to make an appointment. Today we're going to learn phrases to use when you're making an appointment. I'm going to help you sound natural when you're speaking and we're going to do lots of listening practice and writing. Before we start the listening activity, I want you to look at these pictures and think of phrases that we can use to make an appointment. Write this down in your notebook. Now you're going to listen to somebody making an appointment. What I want you to do is write down the nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And that's it. Let's practice and see. Look at this sentence. The woman walked to the hospital. What words are you going to write down? You should have written down woman walked and hospital. Nothing else. And that's what you're going to do when you do the listening. Don't look well. Maybe you should go and see a doctor. Well, I don't feel well. I've had a headache for three days. Maybe I should make an appointment. Here's my phone. Go ahead and call. Wellness Medical Center. How can I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see the doctor, please. Can I have your name, please? It's Nadia Smith. Can you spell that? Yes, it's Nadia. N-A-D-I-A. -A. And Smith. S-M-I-T-H. Thanks. And why do you need to see the doctor? I've had a headache for the past two days. Hmm. There's an opening tomorrow at 10 a.m. Is that okay? Hmm. I won't be able to make that appointment. I have work at that time. Do you have an appointment after 2 p.m.? The next available appointment is next Monday at 3 p.m. Is that more suitable? I'd prefer to take tomorrow's appointment. I'll call in sick. Okay, I'll pencil you in for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for your help. See you tomorrow. Thanks for pushing me to make an appointment. What would you do without me? Well done, you did the first listening. Was it difficult? Don't worry, you're going to listen one more time. Let's begin. Don't look well. Maybe you should go and see a doctor. Well, I don't feel well. I've had a headache for three days. Maybe I should make an appointment. Here's my phone. Go ahead and call. Wellness Medical Center. How can I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see the doctor, please. Can I have your name, please? It's Nadia Smith. Can you spell that? Yes, it's Nadia. N-A-D-I-A -A and Smith. S-M-I-T-H. Thanks. And why do you need to see the doctor? I've had a headache for the past two days. Hmm. There's an opening tomorrow at 10 a.m. Is that okay? Hmm. I won't be able to make that appointment. I have work at that time. Do you have an appointment after 2 p.m.? The next available appointment is next Monday at 3 p.m. Is that more suitable? I'd prefer to take tomorrow's appointment. I'll call in sick. Okay, I'll pencil you in for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for your help. See you tomorrow. Thanks for pushing me to make an appointment. What would you do without me? Okay, great. We've, we're finished with the listening part. Now I want you to take the words you've written down and put them in a sentence. Now I'm going to put the dialogue you heard on the screen. I want you to compare what you've written to what's on the screen now.
Okay, now we've completed the activities and the listening part. Let's take a look at a few phrases that are important. The first collocation is see a doctor. This is a verb noun collocation. The second one is make an appointment. So this is also a verb noun collocation. And the third one is a little bit important, especially when you're calling the doctor, um, is the symptoms. So symptoms are things that are wrong with you. So I said, have a headache. There's also other things you could say. For example, I have a toothache. I have a stomachache. And there's many more, um, but don't worry, I've created a poster for you guys. Um, you can have a look here um, and it'll to give you much more um, collocations that you can use to talk about problems that you have. That's all for now guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and if you have please press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week Friday for another lesson. If you have any ideas for a new lesson, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next week. If you want more videos, press here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, press here. And remember, be a fearless learner.